Hi guys, it's Amy, your golf coach. This is a question from Stop Hitting It Fat and Thin, chip like Scotty Scheffler Drop 10 Shot Series. Question, how do your arms work while chipping? Do you keep them tight to your body and rotate your body? Or do you keep the body still and just move the arms? Anytime I have to chip onto the green, it rarely goes well. Because of this, I usually try putting instead. It's not pretty, but I usually end up closer to the hole. All right, well, I see your concern there. I do see a lot of amateurs who tend to putt off the green when you're really far away, really shouldn't be putting. So why don't I try and help you with your chipping today so you can gain confidence to chip even when you're really close to the green. So when you are more than five feet off the edge of the green, I really wouldn't suggest you to use the putter. Like you see here, you wouldn't be able to gauge exact speed of the first part of this putt. A lot of times in this case, you know, golfers tend to leave it really short or really long, and it would have been better off to miss a chip than do that. So let me go ahead and give you some confidence over these small chip shots. The golfer asked whether to put your arms close to the body and use the body turn or keep the body still and use the arms the answer is neither as you just saw if the arms are too close to the body then now the club head is going to become off plane and it's going to cause a lot of missed shots and if you keep the body still and use arms only that's going to cause even more missed shots so we can't do either so when this golfer asked me the question it tells me that this golfer's body to hand synchronization is off. It's really not that important how close your arms are because sometimes golfers have really big arms or really skinny arms. So how far away could vary from person to person. As long as your hands are dropped directly downwards and it's a little bit more in front of where it naturally hangs, would be ideal position right there. You grip down on it and it's not stuck next to your obliques too much. Just anywhere in this comfortable position is really good. We just don't want it to be too far away or too close, that's all. Doesn't really matter how far your arms are to the body. Synchronization is the key here. So let's just skip everything and go straight into the Amy Fi drill. Ta-da, this is one of my favorite drills. It really helps you to prevent getting armsy or not using your body. So all you do is you put the ball between your forearms like so, this way, and then you're gonna start chipping. When you chip, now you're going to have a question of, do I use my arms to move this ball? Or is it my hips? Or is it my shoulders? So on top of this drill, I have the two thumbs up drill. You're gonna give me two thumbs up and then you're gonna place your thumbs in your mid back. So kind of like, boom, right there, okay? And you're going to set up without the club and you're going to use the left thumb to make your body turn and then use the right thumb to push toward the target. Lead thumb turns, trail thumb pushes. So it's a turn, push. And you're going to Pretend like the thumbs are still on your mid back and you're gonna place the ball between your forearms and hold it like so and use your thumbs only. Turn, push, turn, push. So your body is basically making the ball move, which is making your hands move. So your hands are never doing its own thing out of sync from your body. I hope this helped for those who struggle with chip shots around the greens. You have been aimified. Thanks so much for golfing with me today and see you in the next one. Mwah.